systematically I go for a nice gradation of color. But I'm going to come in here now. I want to put some yellows in just a little bit. And as I'm showing you, I'm going to pick up white and a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to pull this back on through just up a little bit so that you can see how those colors will work underneath something for you. I'm going to continue to kind of lighten and work my way down with a little bit of yellows, making this bright in here. And then I'm going to come down towards the base here and make it look sort of like a sunset. I love the bright colors of the sunset or sunrises. And as I come on through with this now, I can let that set for a minute. And you can see how brilliant, brilliant those colors are and how vibrant. And maybe you want to have it so it looks like a snow scene up there. And so as I'm working over the top of it, I can come in and use these again, much like you might an oil, picking up a little bit of my white. And I can come over and pick a little bit of my blues and I'm going to have my paint on a little bit thicker, and I want to put in a little bit more blue in there so it'll look like the morning's just starting to have a little bit of color with it coming through in the distance. I'm pulling this on down a little violet, and you can see how this becomes then more opaque. You can see some of the colors through. Now, I can either use, let, allow some of those colors to show through or I can put it on, uh, picking up a very thick amount of paint. So you can see how thick that is. And building up a lot of texture, gliding this on down into the surface or onto the surface of the paper and or canvas. Pull this on through. And as I'm creating these, putting on thick texture, I don't press down really hard. You could use a painting knife if you wanted to to put some of the texture in. And I want to come right on across here. Put a little bit more sunshine, glow of the sun coming in. We have this so that there's a tree line. Now, as you're working, you can have different brushes. And so as I'm coming through, I want to pick up just a little bit of my blues and some of my violets so that as I pull this through, I can lift this up, and it's going to work easier for me while that's wet. If I let this area dry with a lot of texture on it, and then I pulled it up, it would show that much texture. So you want to work these areas while they're wet. It's going to make it easier for you, and that's the important part. Pulling these down in a minute to reflect down into the water area. Now, if it starts to kind of, I want to say break. See the difference up here where it's real soft looking and down here it looks like it's sort of catching. This needs a little bit more water going in my brush. So if you are working on something and it doesn't pull out nicely for you, add some more water, make some water adjustments. And now with a little bit more water and a little bit more paint, I can get just a, a different look in there to that. And darken this a little bit more coming up. Having a variety of layers and colors are so pretty. Create depth. 